Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. Today what I'm gonna do is teach you how to build a little box like this, which will enable you to switch from your headphones or your studio speakers. So the way it works is this little jack right here, you can see it's a little stereo jack, and this will plug into the back of your computer or wherever the headphone output is. This is, you know, for Mac or PC, it doesn't matter. Headphone output goes here, then on the back of the box, I have a little eighth inch stereo output. This goes to my studio monitors. And on the other side, I have another eighth inch stereo output, which goes to my headphones. Then on top, I have this little switch and I can switch back and forth and you know determine where I want the sound to go. Now, I'll tell you really quickly, this thing costs about $18 to build it. You can buy things online, but from experience, they're not built very well. They don't work for very long and uh, you can build one for less money and it will be significantly more reliable. Now, the first thing you're actually gonna need to buy is a little project box. You can buy these at Radio Shack. It's just a little black plastic box. Uh, this one's three by two by one inches. It's the smallest one they had and it worked perfectly for this project. You're also gonna need some wire, obviously. You're gonna need three different strands of wire. I have a 24 gauge speaker wire. I got a cable or a spool of it right here. This is two leads right here. And then you're gonna need a third one um, which will serve as your ground through the whole thing. Now, next, you're gonna need a toggle switch. You're gonna need, this is called a double pull, double throw switch. It means it has six terminals on the bottom. We'll talk about that more later. Next, you need two eighth inch stereo female jacks. Uh, Radio Shack, again, has all this stuff. This is, uh, these ones were about $2.39 or something like that. Uh, you're also going to need an eighth inch male stereo jack, and this is for going into the back of the computer. You're also gonna need a soldering iron, a drill with a quarter inch bit, um, and you know all the stuff that goes with soldering, wire strippers, wire cutters, all that stuff. So anyway, enough of me blabbing away, let's get to the constructing the box. I hope you enjoy it. All right, so here we are. Here's the project box. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make the four holes that are gonna go in here. So again, we're gonna need one on this side for going to your headphones, and then we're gonna need two here, one for the cable that's gonna come out, and then another one for the other eighth inch jack, and then one on the top for the switch. So figure out wherever you want the holes and start drilling. All right, one thing I'm gonna quickly say about these boxes is uh, in here, you can see, hopefully, that there are a couple of ridges uh, right on the inside of here, next to the holes. When you go to put your eighth inch jack in here, these are gonna get in the way. So I found just like a regular kitchen knife and patience, go slowly, you don't wanna cut yourself, but you can actually cut these out and it, it's pretty easy to do. So go ahead and cut one of these sides out, uh, just the bars on the inside of the box. You don't wanna you know, take the whole thing away, just enough so your eighth inch jack can fit in this hole. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the switch here. Now I'm gonna quickly describe how it works for you um, and in audio terms. So we're gonna use the two center terminals here as your left and right inputs. And then here, the two terminals on either side will be left and right outputs. So depending on which direction the switch is in, you know, this will be headphones and this will be for the speakers. All right, so the first thing we're gonna solder up is the center poles on the switch here. Uh, again, these are gonna be the inputs for the switch. I also have a little bit of heat shrink tube here at the top, this red and the blue here. Um, they'll slide down over the terminals and keep it nice and clean later on and I'll show you how to do that. So let's just solder these up. And we're good. All right, now to do uh, the heat shrink tubing, there's you know a few different methods. I know the one I'm about to do with the match is not the preferred way. Don't write to me uh, about it, but it does work. And all you do is just take a flame and really quickly, you wanna hit the tubing, just keep waving it under there until it shrinks up just like that. And what you get is a very nice um, contact that's nice and clean. Now, you know, keep in mind, there's gonna be six different wires coming in here. So it's gonna be key that this area is nice and clean and heat shrink tubing makes sure that that happens. All right, so now I have my center terminals on the switch, all wired up and heat shrunk and all that stuff. Now, 
don't forget, this is going to be the one coming out of the computer. So at this point, before you attach the new end to here, you have to thread it through the hole in the box. And don't forget to do that. All right, here's the jack that's going to go on the end of the wire we just soldered to the switch. I wanted to take a quick moment and just show you exactly what I was talking about before, how it's a stereo jack, also just called as a tip, ring, and sleeve. So you can actually see there is a you know there's little black borders here. So this will say is uh, left and right and ground here. Um, so you want to be able to identify the ones here just to make sure that it's the same going all over the box. You want to make sure that the center is always going to the tip, uh, even on the female ends. You want to make sure that this is all the same. Otherwise, you're going to get you know the left and right is going to come out of the, the wrong end. But anyway, let's uh, let's solder this guy up. All right, now I have the two ends coming off the switch and coming into the mail jack that's going to go to the computer. The third wire that I'm going to add here is the ground, and this goes on the most outside terminal of this jack. All right, so now here I am. I'm ready to start uh, attaching this wire, which is going to go out to one of the female 8th inch stereo outputs. And I just need to solder this one up and get the heat shrink on there and we're good to go. All right, so when you're all done, you should have something that looks just like this. Um, so these are the two that are gonna go out to the female outputs and this line is the one coming in from your computer. So when you're all done, it should look like this. Now I'm going to attach the ends. All right, so here's the eighth inch female jack that's going to be used for either the headphone output or the speaker output. I just wanted to take a minute and tell you how the terminals are. So this is tip, this one's ring, and this one is the sleeve. So this is uh, channel left, channel right, and the ground. So tip, ring, sleeve. Let's solder it up. All right. So now I've soldered the wire coming off the switch going to this uh, eighth inch female jack. I have to add a ground wire, so that's what this black wire is right here. I'm gonna solder it up and we'll be done with this side. All right, so here we are. Now everything's all wired up pretty much. Uh, here's the switch, all three things are wired up and the two ends are connected. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take all three of these black wires that I have, which all are grounds, I'm going to strip them down and I'm going to connect them. One thing I will say is obviously the length that I have here is too much, so you're going to have to cut these down for whatever appropriate size, you know, you don't want to have too much stuff spooled up in the box itself. So I'm going to cut these down, strip the ends, connect all the grounds together. All right, so here's the whole thing. Everything's now wired up here, the grounds that I just did. Uh, got a little bit of heat shrink tubing on there to keep it clean. Cables all look about the right size. Now it's assembly time. I'm towing the line again. The river's rolling on by. Alright, so here's the box. All wired up, this is my jack going out to my speakers. This one is for the headphones right here, and then here's the cable going to the computer. Let's switch it into monitor mode. We'll turn it on. Sounds good so far. Success! Coming out of both speakers. Now if I flip the switch down, it's coming out of my headphones. Both left and right channels. And uh, that honestly was the first test of this, so <laughs> I'm glad it worked. Um, all right, I have one more thing to say. We're going to give this box away. I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. All right, so I want to give this box away to one of my faithful subscribers. You guys have all been really great. So go ahead and leave comments below. Two weeks from today, uh, which is May 6th, 2010, um, two weeks from today, I will announce a winner, and one of you guys will end up with this box for your own home use. So that's it. Leave a comment. Got to be a subscriber to win. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.